right if you're watching this video it's very likely that you are in my finite element analysis course and may be using FEA 2D solver in this course so here I just want to introduce what the motivation is for using this software and why it was created and then just show you how you can download this software to get it started so the motivation is because when we look at a typical problem that you might see in a finite element analysis course this one might be a little bit advanced but we have a set of line elements we have some nodes or probably loads applied to the nodes we have some constraints great you would take a simple problem like this you might solve it by hand you might solve it within MATLAB and get a couple numerical answers but boy this really seems like a far cry from what we see with a professional software like ANSYS where we have a full 3D model, a nice contour plot, all the different elements plotted. Wow, is this even the same stuff? And so FEA 2D Solver, pardon me, was created to show you that it is the same. The theory that we are learning is related to what we're seeing in our workshops, in this case for our class using ANSYS. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this problem what we would do if we actually wanted to create this with an ANSYS it would be a little bit difficult because we'd have to model each of those lines inside space claim or one of its geometry processors and you would have to be very careful about the nodal loads it's not really meant to work easily with nodes and elements right it's much easier to work with geometry which then all the stuff you apply to the geometry gets extrapolated to the nodes and elements underneath an actual model this we can enter in very simply into in input sheet. And this is something that we would have for this particular problem. We can enter in the nodes, the node locations. We can enter in the line elements with the nodes they connect, the elastic modulus, cross-sectional properties for those elements, things like that. If we have a couple spring elements, we can go ahead and include those as well. And then there's a bunch of other element types that aren't used in this example problem. We have the option for uh, thermal expansion problems, that's also not used here. We can look at how to constrain it at the nodes and the degrees of freedom. We can look at applying forces at those nodes. And here's some other options that aren't used in this particular example. But basically what we wanted to show you is that here you could enter in everything just as simple as putting in the node locations, elements that are connected to them, the basic properties of those elements, where it's constrained, and those forces and that moment and then solve it and that's what we have for FEA 2D solver in fact this is the problem pardon me we'll go ahead and scroll up where we use this exa exact example and you can see that it automatically gives us some contour plots of the deformation different section loads for these frame elements like the axial force shear force bending moment and we also have some stress outputs as well so we have that available to us it also creates a text file that's what we have here text file that shows us what each of the results are for each node each element things like that so we can take a look at our displacements we can take a look at our section loads for the elements we can take a look at the stresses within each element and so we have that available we also have some results book pardon me we have results within the workspace and this is really intended to show not just the results, although we can certainly get that here, but it's also to show all the intermediate steps that are necessary to get those results. So if you wanted to look at the results, well you certainly could. You could look at nodal results and here if you look at nodal results it will show you perhaps what the different displacements are and what the re reacted loads are. If we go ahead and double click that it will show you the displacement x direction, y direction, things like that but we could also take a look at well boy I wonder what my elemental matrices look like when solving this problem and so you can go here to the line elements and you can take a look at what all those different element stiffness matrices look like for the line elements here if we take a look at the elemental coordinate system you can take a look at each one of those elements and so if you are going through the process and checking through to see if you know how to do it correctly or coding it through in MATLAB you can check with this to see am I doing this correctly or is something being messed up okay so that's that part that's our motivation for doing it that's the motivation for FEA 2D solver and now let's go ahead and get into how do we download this thing so we would go to canvas and within canvas 
we would download three things. You need three things to run this. I think the first thing that you want to do is download the code itself and all the P files. So we would go ahead and say that we have FEA 2D solver. Click this button that contains all of the M files and P files, everything you need to run it. And go ahead and click there to download all of that. That will show up in this zip file right here. Go ahead and unzip that and store all of the different files necessary to run this in one folder. Next thing that we need is an Excel input file template similar to one that was shown earlier. So you'll want to go ahead and download that. And finally what you'll want is the MATLAB live script to actually run your model. So those are the three things that you'll need to download in order to get started and we'll go ahead and continue in the next video.